And a lot of companies do what's called back flushing. So they take, uh, they presume that the quantity of the ingredients they consumed is exactly what the recipe calls for. So they presume that every unit of production uh, resulted in a, a, a corresponding uh, consistent amount of consumption of the ingredients. And that's not true because the, those ingredients usually come from nature and they vary widely. So you use a little more or a little less. And so each batch or roll or whatever it is you make uh, will involve a little bit more or less of those ingredients. And after a while, your records are inaccurate and they indicate a false inventory of what's physically there. That's why they do physical inventories. They have to expedite a product in when it's short or they keep too much on hand and some spoils. Or they just get cash tied up unnecessarily. So that helps in uh, actually gaining cash back or understanding more accurately your manufacturing cost. How much did it really cost to make this lot based on the ingredients we used? Um, or how much do we really need of ingredient C because we're getting more quality than we need? We don't need that much and it's an expensive ingredient. Capturing that kind of data helps you answer those kinds of questions to be more efficient, have better quality and even better profit and really balance all those things. How much safety stock is in the warehouse? Uh, how often have there had to be expedited batches of raw materials brought in because we ran out? Or um, if you discovered a problem with a finished product, how many batches of margin on either side of that suspect batch did you have to recall or test until you found the bracket of the problem?